that's where things got really interesting, so I'll show you that. But first things first, let's go over to Manet and liberate it. It's located over there, above my head. Yeah, right there. So let's break out some of my new toys here. Now let me go to a cliff here. There we go. Let's bust out the wingsuit. Why? There we go. Okay, we're off, like in Transformers 3. Okay, this probably isn't going to be as useful as I want, so let's uh, put it away and then use our parachute. Once we get over open water, it'll make more sense. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're finally... I'm bound to get the hang of this. Apparently this gets a lot more useful once you get your um, hook, once you get your hook in. Here's my parachute. It's not a parasail. This isn't so great over the open water, so I kind of screwed myself in that sense. Well, that was a lot less exciting than it could have been. Let's get over the bridge then, how about that? Okay, so we'll do it that way. As I was mentioning earlier, uh, when I was offline, I did a bunch of videos. Or actually, I didn't do a bunch of videos. I took out that electrical plant, which allowed me to practice my uh, dual tethering ability, which is kind of a new thing. In the first game, I seem to remember it being somewhat more static. Like, you know, you attacked, uh, what do you call it? Like, you, uh, you, uh, you grappled a car to the road and the car would flip into the air, you know, all kinds of fun stuff. Well, this requires something a bit different. In this game, you can grapple, you can tether two things together, then press the left trigger or hold the left trigger down to reel them in like a fish on a fishing line. You can feel, you can actually feel the, uh, vibration of the controller when you do that. So it's a really interesting mechanic and of course you can do all kinds of wacky stuff that I'll show you later like uh, tethering something explosive to uh, like tethering a fuel tank to a to another fuel tank then and then you know then you know making the two hug <laughs> I believe they call it and you can actually destroy fuel tanks that way without using any bullets so I'm curious what we can do here in this town that's similar to that yeah Crap. Just a second. Let's do this thing. Uh, am I supposed to shoot? Do I have to shoot these things? I don't know if they're targets. On the top left hand corner of the screen, you can see the name of the town, which is, I think, the name of the region, I think, is, ba is Bahia. The name of the town is Mania. And there are a bunch of icons below that. Each of those icons represents a destructible item in this territory. There will, be, there will be rings around each of those icons as I destroy them, and then when the ring is completely circled, that means I have uh, destroyed 100% of those items. 100% of those, uh, those points of interest. Now, I'm pretty sure the first thing I can do is take out that, um, where's that tower I saw? I don't... Hmm, something over there I can grab. Oh, there's a dude over there a second. I can kill him later. I don't want. I don't want to bring. Any, I don't want anyone to, you know, rain down heck on my head until I'm ready. I'll just do recon for now, then get the shooting started. Whoops! Barbed wire. I'm looking for something that can explode. What can I blow up here? It's gonna be something easy. I can't. I can't climb that really. I want to use my grapple for everything. Okay. See, like that over there. That fuel tank. Pull down the LB button, and I'll tether that. To, um, how about that uh, air vent? Then I'm going to hold down the LB button. I'm going to hold on the left trigger and listen to the controller. It see? And I brought it down without any bullets. So that uh, rumbling you hear is the sound of the tethering, uh, bringing the two ends of the tether together. So I was able to bring down that fuel tank with no bullets. Which I, this, this, this game's going to get a lot more interesting if I can do that a lot more often. So I'll see what I can do with that. That's so much fun. Okay, how can I tether that to a car? Missed. Okay, I reeled in the, okay, so the speakers are going down. So they tell me to wreck havoc so I can call in the rebels. I think I took down that, let me make sure I took down all the speakers. LB. Link to the car. Yeah, link to the car. Yeah, the car. Okay. Now I'm going to reel it in. There it goes, and there goes the truck. <laughs> and there go the speakers. <laughs> wow. Seems going to get a lot more interesting, isn't it? Okay. So that's a, that's a nice wrinkle compared to the first game. 
I think there was a mod for that in Just Cause 2 for the PC version. So I'm curious how many applications there are for that in this game. This is the kind of thing I'm talking about. You don't have to shoot anything. I mean, I guess it might be, it might be cool to do a pass, not pass at this run technically, but it might be cool to see if I can just do a, a gunless run where I just tether everything to everybody and destroy things without bullets. That sounds great. I have not been able to unlock fast travel in this game. There's, there appears to be a mechanic where, or a limitation, where you have a limited number of fast travel flares. And I don't know how that works yet, because I haven't been unlocked. Let's see what I can do for that. I might have to complete another mission before I can get that. But for now, I'll just wreck house. Or in this case, liberate the... Here we go. So we got a statue up here. Let's link that by holding down the LB button to... Uh, Hmm. Maybe it doesn't matter what I link it to. I'm just experimenting. Okay, let's link it to that pagoda and then to that... Yeah, to that roof. Hold down L left trigger. Mine, yeah, it's not strong enough. Okay, uh, what can I link it to? I'm just curious. I can link it to a porta potty. Just a second. Link the statue's head. To that roof. Left trigger. Yeah, that's not strong enough. Yep, not strong enough. You can see it moving a little bit. It jostled just a little bit. Let's attach it to the porta potty. Why not? Down there. Left trigger. And there goes the porta potty. Well, the tether didn't break. Now it broke. <laughs> okay. I'm open to ideas. I have a grenade launcher. I can aim for the foundation. Well, oh, there you go. Okay, checking the icon here. Um, I don't see anything related to that on my icon to the top left corner of the screen. So I guess I'm just generally wrecking havoc. I don't know if I have to bring down the foundation too, but at least the statue came down with one bullet. Or one grenade, because that's pretty much a grenade launcher, I'll check. Hold X to holster the weapon. Put the weapon away. What is this called? It's a CS Negotiator. Check the bottom right hand corner of the screen. It's a grenade launcher. And I can just throw grenades if I want, but I like being able to shoot them. I picked this up from the electrical plant that I liberated uh, when I wasn't recording. This is pretty handy to have. I mean, I have a sniper rifle too, but this looks to be more fun than a sniper rifle. Although I noticed that I can zoom in with the sniper rifle if I press the right if I press the right stick, but I can't zoom in with any of my other weapons. So I guess it's an unlockable skill that I have to get. Because in the Just Cause 2, I can zoom in with any weapon, even pistols. Can't do that here. Not sure why they made that change. Okay, so let's link this to uh, that left trigger. Okay, one of them came down. Let's see if I can bring down the whole lot. Uh, how about... Uh, not a human being. Uh, how about that? Yeah, that roof. Can I link it to that vent? No, let's link it to the roof. Left trigger. Not strong enough. Okay, let's try one more thing. Uh, do the top. To the ground. Left trigger. Got it. Yep, down there go the speakers. Okay, so I guess I have to put it on top of the pole so that the whole thing comes down. You be in town, not in the military section, because that's the military uh, post over there, I believe. That's the church. I'm going to check that out in a moment. I have to listen to the speakers, I suppose. But oh, wait. Wait. A hijack mission? Why don't want to? Don't interrupt me in the middle of this. I'm busy doing stuff. I think I need to listen to. Maybe if I need to listen to the audio cues, maybe there's a set of speakers around there somewhere. Oh, by the way, I missed the uh, locator symbol over there. There it is, over on this side. A circle like that. Kind of hard to read. Just say you know three out of four. You know, don't, don't give me an icon. It's just hard to read. Damn. Oh. Oh, the one down there? Oh, that one, yeah. Uh, let's see if I can attach it to something. 
How about that? Left trigger. There it goes. I guess that was one of the billboards. I wasn't paying attention to what was on the other side. <laughs> and that's tourism, so we'll allow it. Well, thanks for pointing it out. See anyone's attention. Huh. Icon over there. Might be a, might be a car at the hijack or something. You see that icon on the right side of the screen? Yeah, that. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, then yeah, I don't like driving missions in games like this. I mean, come on, I got a freaking grappling hook and a parachute. I don't need to drive anywhere. I got a wingsuit. I don't need any of that crap. There we go. Uh, where? Oh, here? You have to unlock the, you have to unlock the, you have to unlock it by liberating the settlement. Okay, so this whole area, I need to unlock this area before I can do that. And see what we can find. Well, I tried, but there's not much going on in this town. It's not as dense as the, um, as the electric factory or whatever it was called. Yep. They see me. Or they're close to seeing me. When I triggered an event. Okay, weapons. Down there. Yeah, on the other side of that wall looks like. Shit. Right here. Need them fold down walls once you jump down, which is kind of interesting. Here we go. Okay, shotgun, never. Ooh, rocket launcher, that sounds fun. Yep. Hit it! Made a mess. Oh, stop. Okay, where do I go? They're shooting at me. Crap. Well, I got weapons, so what counts? Got a shotgun and a rocket launcher. I've already... Crap. Okay, we wrecked, we wrecked havoc. Okay, so we uh, caught, so we brought down the uh, statue. Let me see if there's anything else I can do with the statue. Nope. Foundation's worthless. Alright, never mind. Where are the freaking... Where's the freaking... Yeah, um... I saw that icon light up. What did that icon mean at the top of the screen on the left-hand side? I don't know what that means. Maybe, maybe that's the wrecking havoc thing. Okay, so never mind. I still want to start with that stupid statue. Not the statue, the speaker. Where the speaker? Someone's still shooting at me? They'll be shooting at me. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Transformer, okay. Left bumper. Uh, I catch to that guy over there. Yeah, why not? Retract. And there he goes. <laughs> okay, let's grab something else. Um, how about that drum? Left trigger? Yeah, there he goes. Okay, so we got one more, so we got to blow up one more set of speakers. And uh, that icon down there was a transformer. So that, that icon is no more. I need another set of speakers. And I need to wreck more havoc. So where are the speakers? We've lost of course you have. People have no persistence. Because this is just cause. You know, superhuman persistence killing skills. I, however, will persist and liberating this town, but I don't know where the other, yeah, where's the other set of speakers, I mean, I'm always worried when games do this, they make you look all, they make you look all over the place for one measly set of speakers, they might not, they might not, they might be hiding somewhere on a street or something, but they might not be in an obvious place, I'm gonna get high, and I can see them from up here, nah, 
Let's stop. Don't know what that was. Don't know what that was about. Yeah, it's great, but where are the speakers? I need the propaganda speakers. Yeah, crap. Freaking speakers. I thought I heard something. I guess they're not using the speakers anymore? I'm not gonna spend the next five minutes looking for speakers. I spend enough time doing that. Looking for speakers. Hey, can y'all tell me where the speakers are? It's gonna drive me nuts. They're not around the statue. The statue's already. T yeah, the cops aren't coming to investigate the statue that was torn down a few minutes ago, but hey. You know what? Uh, there's something going on in this town. We better not look. We better not look at the damage being caused. Oh, jeez. I'm in view of the authorities. I don't see the speakers. What the heck? I'll just call it. I'll just call it havoc. Works for me. Let's make a mess. All right. What do I want to make a mess with? Well, I'll tell you what, let's link that dude to that dude. Make him hug. Okay, so they drop their weapons when they hug like that. That's always good. What's that down there? Here we go. Activate. Call in the rubble. Beep! Let's do it again. Okay, I need to do that. There's another, um gate here that I need to open. Don't know where it is. Oh crap, go up, go up. Pay no attention to Spider-Man. Uh, down there, there we go. Activate. Barely saw that, but hey, it worked. Call in the rebels. Wreck some more havoc. All right, so now what? Wreck more havoc? What? That, that, that. I can do that. Left bumper? No, nope, no. Nope. Left bumper, and let's drag him up here. Reel in. Now oh, there he went. <laughs> wow, that was macabre. Okay, let's, ra let's raise a bit more hell. Uh, drag him. But the police station's down. Okay, so that worked. But I need to get the last set of speakers for crying out loud. You gotta be kidding me, the stupid speakers. They're gonna drive me nuts. Yeah, I'm pretty close. There we go. Gosh darn it. Seriously. Left bumper. Uh, to the ground. Left trigger and end this thing. Darn it. Try again. Left trigger, roof. Left bumper, roof. Left trigger. There it goes. Wow. I mean... Seriously. Not not that. Not that. At least tethered. Guess where do I raise the flag? Down there? Okay. What is the rebel flag actually? Uh okay. So, we've eliminated Manea. It took me like only 20 minutes to search for... I'm gonna have to cut a bunch of stuff in this video now that I think about it. I'm gonna have to document that. But let's see what I got. A, a car... a hillside car race I'm never gonna use. Manea Tour. I don't know what that is. An aerial flight, I guess. And I've liberated three settlements. So, all the settlements in this province have been liberated. Yay! Nine, really?
Yeah, he's got a Rubble Dross. Let's do that before we end the video. I'm probably not going to do the Minea tour, but we'll see how it goes. Yes, the helicopter tour. We'll come back to that. Deck. Try it again. Wings. That. Uh, wingsuit. Nah. Wingsuit. There we go. No. Didn't work. I gotta stop using that wingsuit. <laughs> okay, so let's head over to the rubble drop and see what's going on. So I guess I won't be able to do a whole bunch of videos like this. It's gonna take me a while to keep finding stuff. Come on, wingsuit. There we go. That's one way to get around. Yeah, yeah, no, the building, no, the building. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, that was a disaster. Ow. All right, let's get to the other side and get to the rebel drop. Not that. Okay. This rebel drop, yep. Okay, I don't want to start that. Okay, I'll start that later. Actually, let me see what it does. Cause my game's already been saved. Let me just do a quick check. Skipping. Just curious, what he, just curious what I get for doing this. Cause I couldn't start this mission until I liberated the town. But thankfully, we've liberated the province already. Reach the mystery location. And how far away is it? Oh, for crap. It's a click and a half away, isn't it? And I can't fast travel. He's not going to make me do the hillside sprint, is he? Yes, the Minea tour. That's new. I can't zoom in. Wingsuit course. Not really interested, but if I complete it, I get a real in boost. In fact, let me just mention that. Gear mods. Destruction mods will give me glass grenades, homing grenades. Homing grenades? Grenades home in on targets? Really? That sounds interesting. Smart fuse. This increases the fuse time on your grenades when thrown near enemies. Hmm. Long fuse. Grenades take substantially longer to explode. If you want that. Increases the number of grenades you can carry. Left trigger. Excuse me, right trigger. Explosive mods. Complete crash bomb challenges to unlock explosive mods. Booster engines. Let's go rocket engines for a short amount of time. Huh? I don't know how that works. Oh yeah, I think those are the those are the uh, explosives that you attach to cars, and they yeah they shoot the car forward like that and then blow them up. That's kind of weird. <laughs> but apparently you can blow up a water tower by attaching them to a car and then sending it off a ramp. That's kind of <laughs> devious. Clever, but devious. <laughs> Plant explosives automatically explode when approached by an enemy. Yeah, I've watched too many mines, basically. Safety. Plant explosives will not detonate if you are in the blast radius. That's kind of interesting. Max active explosives. Increase number of active explosives. Plant explosives by four. And you can do that. So it's cute, these little tutorial videos they include. Whoops, hit the wrong button. Uh, let's see. Right trigger. Weapon mods. Hold twice as much special weapon ammo, specifically rockets, grenade launcher rounds, and sniper rifle bullets. So it's the but so if I press left on the D-pad, that's my special weapon. And the ammo I can carry can be double, which is nice. Uh, precision aim. Press the R stick to enable precision aim. It zooms in and disables aim assistance. Yeah, and R and R in um Just Cause 2, you can do this basically from the beginning of the game. But here they got it locked behind the skill tree, and I'm not wild about that. But if you have a sniper rifle, you can use precision aiming without this mod, so I guess that's okay. Rebel drop restock speed. All weapons are restocked and rebel drop in half the time. Okay, I guess there's like a cooldown. Like if you like if you use a rebel drop to get something specific, there might be a cooldown of like several minutes on that. You know, so I guess that's what that's about. But I'll get to that later. Whoops, wrong button. Okay, right stick or right trigger. Max tethers, double the maximum number of tethers to four, like that, on the tutorial video. Wow. That's fascinating, actually. Tether strain. All dual tethers can withstand more strain and produce more force, which means you can, which means you can basically drag 
um, items, things like statues. As you probably saw in, the, you saw in this video earlier, I tried to bring down a statue and I couldn't because the tethers weren't strong enough. Well, maybe that's the kind of thing that will help. I currently have two tethers, and I can increase that to four if I'm good. Uh, let's see, traversal mods, wingsuit ability. Hold B to slow down while wingsuiting. That doesn't sound like a big deal. Press Y while swingsuiting to close the wingsuit and reel in, which sounds interesting, but I don't really think I would need to do it. I'll check. It might be interesting for speed boosting and certain specific, you know, techniques, but I'm not going to worry about that. For speed running, it sounds interesting, though. Get a speed boost while reeling in by holding the left trigger. That sounds interesting, actually. And based on this video, you can launch a wingsuit from it. So that sounds really interesting. Reeling ability. Shoot any weapon while reeling in. That sounds good. Because right now, all I can do is kick people when I land. But yeah, that sounds pretty interesting. Reeling kick strength. See, launch his enemies a lot, a bit further. So you can, maybe it might be easier to knock them off a building roof if you do that. Again, being able to take out enemies without shooting them sounds like a lot of fun. I kind of like playing that way, actually. Impact damage resistance. Take less damage from physical impacts. Like that. <laughs> That's cute. That's going to be a nice little challenge for me, I guess. Land vehicle mods. I don't use land vehicles. I'm not worry about that. Air vehicles. The only one I care about is this one down here that says fast travel flares. Increases max fast travel flares to three. But... Do I even have fast travel flares yet? I don't know. Let me just check. No, I don't. I don't have any fast travel flares yet. Sea vehicle mods, never gonna use. Alright, so that's enough for that. Leaderboards, nah. Progress! 4% overall progress. This game's gonna take me a while, to be honest. I'm not gonna try and beat this game over a rental period. I'll probably buy it again later when it's on Steam, but of course, you know, I'm probably gonna need a. I'm probably going to need a bit more RAM, and RAM's kind of expensive here in the fall of 2017. RAM prices might not drive for another six months at the earliest, maybe, maybe, in, maybe in a year they'll drop, and I'll be able to upgrade crap. Because right now, the most amount of RAM I have on my PC is 6, and that's enough to play 99% of the games that I own, but I can't play Just Cause 3. I can play Batman Arkham Knight, but I can't play this on PC. Makes me mad.